Okay, so we have a line, and this line passes through these two points. So the objective is, is to find the equation of this line, and we want to write it in y equals mx plus b form. Of course, this is the slope-intercept form. And if you're taking any sort of algebra course, this should be a pretty easy problem for you. So if you think you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct answer in just one moment. And then, of course, I'm going to walk through the solution here step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I have been teaching math for decades, and I want to help you uh, be as successful as possible in mathematics. So if you need help in your current math course or maybe some sort of special test, something like the GED, SAT, a teacher certification exam, or if you're homeschooling uh, mathematics, check out my math help program. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description of this video. I promise it will make learning math much, much easier. Also, I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the description as well. You absolutely need to be taking great notes to be successful in math. So if your notes are so-so, you can use my notes in the meantime as you improve your notes. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so again, we have a line and, these, and this line passes through this coordinate and this coordinate. And we want to find the equation of this line or this linear equation and y equals mx plus b form. Let's go ahead and take a look at the answer here. It is y equals x plus 4. All right, so how did you do? Well, hopefully you got this right. Matter of fact, if you were able to do this, let's go ahead and give you a nice little happy face and a plus, a 100%, and a few stars so you can tell your friends and family that you know how to find the equation of a line given two points. I'm pretty sure they would be very impressed by that. So don't forget to tell people that you know how to do some algebra. Okay, now this is some algebra because, of course, there is a lot to know in algebra. But linear equations, graphing lines, finding the equations of lines, is that's hugely important for all of you out there that are studying courses like pre-algebra, algebra 1, certainly algebra 2. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this problem. Now, there's a lot of different variations to this type of problem, which is find the equation of a line or write the equation of a line or find the linear equation given some uh, information. Now, if you think about it, here we have one point and another point. Okay, so on the xy plane here, let me kind of back up and uh, we'll just kind of erase all this here for a second. Now, um, I just want to kind of give you a basic visualization of what's going on here, right? So here is a lovely x, y axis. So if I have this point and let's say another point, okay, I have two points and that's what we have in this particular problem. Well, I could certainly graph the line, okay, because I have two points, okay, but that's not the question. The question is, hey, give me the equation of this line, i.e. in y equals mx plus b form. So we have two points and we want to find the equation of this line. Now, uh, this type of problem typically comes after uh, uh, once you've learned um, how to graph linear equations. So hopefully you know something about the slope, how to find the slope, how to graph lines, etc., etc. So just kind of graphically, this is kind of what's going on. We want to find the equation of the line, and here we have two points that are on this line. So how do we do this? Well, when you want to find a linear equation or find the equation to any line, we always need two pieces of information. We need the slope, okay? We need the slope uh, of that line, and we need at least one point that's on that line. So uh, with this particular problem, what we have is two points that are on that line, but we do not have the slope. But is that a problem? No, because if we have these two points, we can calculate the slope. And then once we have the slope, we can either use this point or this point uh, to um, answer uh, the question. But this is the basic information that we need. We need the slope of a line. At least one point is on the line. Now, once we have that uh, information, we can use one of two formulas. We can use y equals mx plus b, which is the slope intercept. This is the y intercept, and this is the slope. You can use the y equals mx plus b formula to actually find the equation of the line. But I'm going to suggest that you get um, 
are really familiar and as a, a preference, okay, like in other words, uh, if you're thinking about, okay, what, what formula should I use to find the equation of lines? I'm going to suggest using the point-slope formula. So this is the point-slope formula right there, and I'll explain this because this is uh, in a second because this is the formula I'm going to use to uh, find the equation of this line. But again, you could use um, uh, the uh, slope-intercept formula. But here's the deal. Once we use the point-slope formula, our final answer will be in y equals mx plus b form. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this right now. All right, so the first thing is we need to find the slope of uh, uh, this particular line. So we know that we have two points that are on this line. So how do we find the slope? So remember, the slope is the rise over the runs. It's the change of y's over the change of x's. In other words, we have to subtract the y's, and then we have to put that. That's That'll be our numerator, and the differences of the x will be our denominator. There's a lot of different ways to write the slope. But basically, if you can't calculate the slope, you need to go back and review how to calculate the slope. You can find all this information that I'm talking about here in my pre-algebra and Algebra 1 course, and even my Algebra 2 course. All right, so what we need to do, the biggest uh, error that students make when calculating the slope is they mix things up. Okay, In other words, I'm going to give you um, a suggestion. Pick a point to start with. I like to underline a coordinate like this. So we're going to take this one. Okay, this is our y. So let's just kind of really uh, take our time here with our slope because some of you out there might be confused. So this is an xy coordinate and this is an xy coordinate right there. So for this point, y is 1 and this point x is negative 3 and in this point y is 8 and this point x is 4. So what we need to do is subtract the y's. That's the change in the y's. So do we go 1 minus 8 or 8 minus 1? It doesn't make a difference, okay? But I'm going to suggest if you're going to go 1 minus 8, just underline the point you're going to start with because this, can, this has a huge impact on your final answer. So 1 minus 8 is going to be what? 1 plus negative 8 or negative 7. Now because... I started with 1, okay, my uh, right here. I did 1 minus 8. When I subtract the y's, I must start with the x coordinate for this y. So in other words, I started with this point's information, 1. So when I subtract the x's down here, I'm sorry, I think I said y's. When I subtract the x's, I must start with the negative 3. Uh, a lot of students get confused. They're like, oh, that's 4 minus a minus 3. No, no, no. If you start with this point's information here, we have to have, a, if we have 1 as our y, we have to have our negative 3 as our x. So now we're going to have negative 3 minus uh, 4, okay, this uh, coordinate right there. So negative 3 minus 4, so that would be negative 3 plus a negative 4, which is negative 7. So we have negative 7 over negative 7, which is a positive 1. So I think um, oftentimes when students are trying to find the equations of lines, they make a lot of mistake with the slope, okay? So if this is something that's been bothering you, and if you're not like uh, sure why you're getting these type of problems wrong, it's likely you could be calculating the slope incorrectly. So I have all sorts of different additional videos on my YouTube channel about the slope and graphing lines, etc. But uh, again, I'm going to suggest you just kind of get into my formal instruction and like my algebra course so you can learn everything you need to know. All right, so anyways, the bottom line is that we do have the slope now. It is 1. All right, so the information uh, we have is we have two points that are on this line now, and we know the slope. So remember, what we need is the slope for sure. Okay, that's non-negotiable, and we need one point that is on the line. Here we have two points. So you could just uh, select either point. You can get the correct answer using this point or this point. So just try to identify the one that's a little bit easier to work with. I'm just going to go ahead and use 4, 8. So now we're basically uh, kind of changed the question. Let's find the equation of a line that has a slope of 1 that passes through the point 4, 8. That line will also pass through the point negative 3, 1. All right, so now if you understand that, again, remember we have two options. We can use the slope intercept formula or the point slope formula we're going to use the point slope formula right now okay so how does this work well here the point slope formula let me just go and circle the things we're going to plug in so for m we're going to plug in the slope x1 we're going to plug in our x value 
on our coordinate that we're going to be using. In this case, that's going to be 4. And then 8 is our Y coordinate. So this Y1, we're going to plug in that 8. Okay, remember, when you're dealing with the coordinate, it's always X, Y. In our case here, um, our point is 4, 8. So these Y1s and X1s, these are the plug-in values that you're going to use for the point slope formula. Okay, so let's go ahead and plug in those respective values. You can see here I already did the work. So we're going to have Y minus 8 is equal to 1, which of course is the slope, times X minus 4, which is again our, y, our X coordinate for our point. All right, so at this um, stage, all we need to do is basically solve for Y. So what you want to do is just apply the distributive property. So that's going to be 1 times X, which is X, and uh, that's going to be 1 times that 4, negative 4, so that's negative 4. So you have y minus 8 is equal to x minus 4. So what we need to do to solve for y is simply add 8 to both sides of the equation. So we have negative 4 plus 8, which of course is a positive 4. And this is our final answer. Okay, so finding the equations of lines, writing the equations of line, uh, lines, uh, finding the linear equations, there's a lot of different ways you can describe uh, this basic type of problem, but this is hugely important in algebra. You have to know a ton of things about linear equations in algebra, okay? In other words, what they are, how to solve them, how to graph them, and how to find the equations of um, various linear equations based upon what information you have, okay? Sometimes you'll have the slope and a point. Uh, sometimes you'll have two points. But again, there are a few different ways you can do this. Again, you could have solved this problem using the slope-intercept form. Uh, and if you're like, no, I would like using y equals mx plus b as my main formula, then stick with it. As long as you're getting the answers right, that's fine. But you do need to know that point-slope formula as well. Okay, so hopefully this video helps you out. If that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.